At the end of this topic, you will be able to apply the formula and find the area of the sector. Calculate the length of the arc. Find the perimeter of the sector. Sector The portion bound by arc and the two radii of a circle is called a sector. Consider the following figure. Let AOB be a sector of a circle. If R is the radius and X degree is the angle subtended at the center O by the arc AB, then length of the sector is equal to X degree by 360 degree into 2 pi R units. Area of the sector is equal to x degree by 360 degree into pi r square squared units. If L is the length of the arc and R is the radius, then the area of the sector is LR by 2 squared units. Perimeter of a sector The perimeter of a sector is the sum of the lengths of all boundaries. If L is the arc length and R is the radius of a sector, then its perimeter P is given by the formula P is equal to L plus 2R units. For example, perimeter of a semicircle is equal to pi plus 2 into R units. Perimeter of a quadrant of a circle is equal to pi by 2 plus 2 into R units. Important Facts the angle subtended by the arc of the sector at the center of the arc is called central angle. A semicircle is a sector whose central angle is 180 degree. A quadrant of a circle is a sector whose central angle is 90 degree. Length of an arc and area of a sector are proportional to the central angle. As pi is an irrational number, we use its approximate value 22 by 7 or 3.14 in our calculations. Let us now see an example on the area of a sector. What is the area of a sector whose radius is 14 centimeters and the length of the arc L is 60 centimeters? Click on the solution button to view the answer. Here is another example on the area of the sector. A shed of length 10 meters and breadth 5 meters is constructed in a grass field. A cow is tied with a rope of length 5 meters outside the shed in a corner. Find the area of the field that the cow can graze. Click on the solution button to view the answer. Here is the next example. Find the area of a cardboard wasted if a sector of maximum possible size is cut out from a square of size 24 cm. Click on the solution button to view the answer. Let us see the next example. Three coins each 2 cm in diameter are placed touching one another. Find the area enclosed by them. Click on the solution button to view the answer. In this topic, you have learnt a sector of a circle is the region bounded by two radii and an arc of the circle. Central angle is the angle subtended by the arc of the sector at the center of the circle. If x degree is the angle subtended by the arc of a circle, r is the radius of the circle, l is the length of the sector, then l is equal to x by 360 degree into 2 pi r units. If x is the angle subtended by the arc of a circle, r is the radius of the circle, then area of the sector is equal to half into l into r square units or is equal to x by 360 degree into pi r square. The perimeter of a sector is the sum of the lengths of all boundaries. If L is the arc length and R is the radius of a sector, then its perimeter P is given by the formula P is equal to L plus 2R units. At the end of the topic, 
you will be able to identify the edges, vertices and the faces of a cube and cuboid. Determine and apply the formula for the lateral surface area and the total surface area of a cube and a cuboid. Recognize and apply the formula for the volume of a cube and cuboid. Let us learn about a cuboid. A cuboid is a solid which is bounded by six surfaces. Each surface is in the form of a rectangle. A, B, C, D, S, R, C, D, P, Q, R, S, A, P, S, D, Q, R, C, B and A, P, Q, B are the six faces of the cuboid. The lines constituting the boundary of each face are the edges of the cuboid. Two edges meet at a vertex of the cuboid. Let us learn about a cube. A cube is a solid which is bounded by six surfaces. Each surface is in the form of a square. The flat surfaces are called the faces of the cube. There are six faces in a cube. The corners of the cube are called the vertices of the cube. There are eight vertices in a cube. The lines joining any two vertices are called the edges of a cube. Let us learn about the surface area of a cube. The lateral surface area of a cube is obtained by calculating the sum of the areas of the four surfaces of the cube, excluding the top and the bottom surface. The total surface area is found by adding the areas of all the six surfaces of the cube. To find the formula for the lateral surface area and the total surface area, click the animation button to view the animation. Let us learn about the surface area of a cuboid. The lateral surface area of a cuboid is obtained by calculating the sum of the areas of the four surfaces of the cuboid, excluding the top and the bottom surface. The total surface area is found by adding the areas of all the six surfaces of the cuboid. To find the formula for the lateral surface area, and the total surface area, click the animation button to view the animation. Let us look at an example to find the surface area of a cuboid. Find the area of the cardboard needed to make a box in the shape of a cuboid of length 1.5 meters, breadth 1.2 meters and height 2 meters. Click on the solution button to view the solution. Let us look at another example to find the surface area of a cuboid. The outer dimensions of a cuboidal room are 8.5 meters, 6.3 meters and 6 meters. Find the cost of painting only the outer wall of the room excluding the ceiling at the rate of rupees 5 per square meter. Click on the solution button to view the solution. Let us look at an example to find the surface area of a cube. The edge of the cube is 5.5 meters. Find the total surface area and the lateral surface area. Click on the solution button to view the solution. Let us look at an example to find the length of the edge of a cube from its surface area. The total surface area of a cube is 1734 square units. Find the length of its edge. Click on the solution button to view the solution. Let us learn to find the volume of a cube and a cuboid. The volume of a cube of side L is equal to L cube cubic units. The volume of a cuboid of length L, breadth B and height H is equal to L B H cubic units. Click on the animation button to view the derivation of the volume of the cube and the cuboid. Let us view an example to find the volume of a cuboid. Find the volume of the cuboidal dwell box of length 34 cm, breadth 16 cm and height 12 cm. Click on the solution button to view the solution. 
Let us view another example on finding the volume of a cuboid and also its weight. The inner dimensions of a metal box are 35 cm, 25 cm and 15 cm. The thickness of the box is 1 cm. If the weight of the metal is 2 grams per centimeter cube, find the weight of the box. Click on the solution button to view the solution.